Welcome to a Bonzolian video. I'm trying a new editing technique today. Very primitive, but it'll do the job nonetheless. Today you're here because this is the Copeland engine. It's the Copeland drum engine. I have the Bonham drum engine, which I'll put links to. You'll see a couple of those gray boxes pop up. You gotta check out the Bonham engine. Just watch it when you get the chance. But right here with the Copeland engine, the sticking is it's easier than the Bonham engine. But it could be a little tricky given the nature of where it falls. So, and this, I call it the Copeland engine because Copeland, Stuart Copeland does it at the end of Voices Inside My Head at a little point. It's something he used to do sometimes live. He had a, it was sort of part of a swinging style that he'd sometimes put like at the end of, uh, does, every, does everybody stare? Does everyone stare? But all right, so here we go. Let's get ready for the far out shot. So the Copeland engine will do this. I'm not even going to talk about the specifics of what the bottom engine are because I'll go off on a four-minute tangent and people stop watching. So in the Copeland engine, we simply have the right arm, the left arm, and the hi-hat hitting simultaneously, alternating with the right foot as one and two and three and four and or one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. It's a piercing bell on my early 70s Zildjian, 22. And, and you notice too, real fast, I just have my sound edge hats here. Uh, Peisty 2002 crash top has a little crack and I drilled out in the bottom is a giant beat 15 inch prototype sound edge. Thank you, Eric Peisty. So what it, what'll sound like faster is this. Hear that? So, but what happens there, it's like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. You know, I, boy, that's it. Let me play it without talking for a minute. But you know what you want to do if you want to keep a true Copeland, like at the end of uh, Voice Inside My Head, is this. Watch. We'll leave with the bass drum. We don't want it swung. We want it straight. So instead of thinking about like one and two and three and four and one, just just do it all alternate. Now for now you can bring in hands again. This like triangulating the triplets. I have the triangulate triangulating the bottom triplets. Here's a link to the video patented by me back in 1935. But we'll alternate a right hand and right foot, which is easy enough because it's easier for people because it's the right side. Typically, most people are right-handed. But also, too, in the bottom engine, this is exactly what's happening. This is half the equation. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And... Okay? But what we're going to do now, though, is the left arm is alternating with the right foot. It's hitting simultaneously with the right hand and, of course, with the left foot on the high hat. But it alternates with the bass drum, which breaks the bottom engine rule. Remember, the bottom engine, the left arm and the right foot are hitting at the same time. But alternating, okay? One and two and three and four and... But remember, don't necessarily have to think about counting, really. We just... Uh, that's just done so people can sort of put on some sort of a grid, right? So, but it's... But you can practice slow. Bring it up like into more of a close. Because that's what's going to happen. And then additionally, you go to your left foot because it'll alternate with the right foot, okay? But see, now the thing is there, that's the bottom engine also. Because in the bottom engine, the left foot and the right arm hit simultaneously versus the bass drum.
Wait a minute, that's the inverse of the Copeland onion. Scratch that. Back to the Copeland onion. So what happens here is you have the left arm, right arm, and left foot hitting simultaneously. Alternating with the bass drum. But again, what I want to say, so we can alternate here. We can alternate uh, here. And alternate here. Okay, we'll get on to the bottom edge thing when I you saw it in the link. So because kind of what happens at Voice Inside My Head, the police, 1980. By the way, when they recorded Voice Inside My Head, that is 1980 album, they recorded it in 1980. They recorded it in, they were in July of 1980. They were in uh, Holland, Wizzelord, I think, unless that's the studio. I'm not sure where it is in Holland. But anyway, the footage that Copeland has in his Does Everyone Stare documentary when he's like, here we are in Montserrat, and he goes over to his drum set that is the flowers, it's my birthday, and he knocks the sticks off. That is, uh, fi that is footage from 1980 July. That is not from 1981. Just so you know, it's not, it's not June of 1981 when they were in Montserrat recording Ghost and the Machine. Anyway, back to the Copeland engine. <laughs> Voice inside my head. I'm not going to do all that cool stuff because I'm not Sura Copeland, who, by the way, should make his own videos on police stuff because he's a living legend. The sacred grove's all wired up. He can get me in there to be the... I'll be the MC. I'll be like, hey, how are you? I'll be the gimp. He'll put me in a gimp suit. Whatever it takes to get Sura Copeland talking about stuff and the records and his playing stuff from the sacred grove. Tama and Feisty would sponsored, of course, so... Here's a reasonable fact. Well, it's a facsimile thereof, but whether or not you think it's reasonable. Oh, where my crashes are gone. You know, you know what the thing is, really? Uh, but Donna, watch this. Mm. The Hyatt kind of gets in the way a little, strictly speaking, in the Copeland engine with the, with the actual Copeland thing from uh, where the name comes from. So what I might do sometimes in doing the Copeland engine button voices inside my head, which was recorded by Stuart Copeland, I'd leave one-third of the... one. Th it'd be one-fourth of the entire Copeland engine out, but one-third of what the same time stuff is doing. So instead of, you're going to get. But what we're going to do, though, is we're going to alternate. For, instead of with that bell, we're going to bring the Hyatt back in. We're going to put on other drums, too. So that's what's happening here. Everything I do now, I'm just going to fart around, will be the right arm, left arm, and left foot hitting at the same time, alternating with the bass drum. <laughs> time out. You know, that's why you can trip with time. This to what? That was the Copeland engine. Don't forget to check out the PFOZ videos uh, of George and the guys just killing it. PFOZ here on YouTube. Uh, Bonomology with George Flutus. He just he's cranking stuff out left and right over there. I'm telling you, he is he has the remaining molecules of, of, of Bonham dust that were left around the planet that whoop informed uh, George Flutus. So check that out and subscribe to my channel if you can. Hit that button. I have a lot more videos. I have like 850 videos. If you type in Bonzolium to the search engine, I got all kinds of videos from the last 11 years. 11 and a half. So thanks to my fans and my subscribers. More videos on the way. Thank you.